Hey, what's going on, child? Thank you so much for tuning in, y'all. Um, I'm a little groggy. Please forgive me. I just kind of woke up. You know how you get pulled out of your sleep before you're ready? My phone rang and it kind of like, whoop, but I'm still trying to get my balance together. I did not want to miss tonight without coming on and talking to you guys, okay? So let's see what the energy is like. Um, and y'all already know what to do, right? Flip your rolls. Take what you need, leave what you do not need, and please use the spirit of discernment, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for helping me to deliver this message. What's the energy? So whatever the drama was that you were experiencing... It feels like, yeah, you were experiencing some type of conflict, some type of drama with somebody you care about, right? And it may have had you kind of like in some type of mental conflict too, is what I'm hearing. I got the old tied up card in the reverse position. Um, the door to healing and happiness is out next to a caring connection, okay? Now, what I feel like here is that now you're moving forward. It's like whatever that drama is, whatever that conflict is, it's not stopping you from moving forward now. Um, you're going towards your happiness at this point. And how I'm seeing it with the door to healing and personal happiness, like this is your new beginning that's really taking place in your life right now. So it's like you're getting... Um, how can I see it? You're getting a, re and what I just heard was like a restart or a rebirth or something. Because you've been working on a lot of changes and whatever you're working on is ready to blossom. Okay. And you're going to get some wonder wonderful results. You just have to continue to keep moving forward, right? You got to continue to stay optimistic um, with whatever your expectations are when it comes to a particular connection that you have here. Okay. So I definitely feel like that internal conflict that that the, the emotional anxiety that's what was keeping you from being able to see changes being able to see results in this situation so tell me about the um drama card in reverse yeah that's what was keeping you from moving forward and like i keep hearing it's like it was your own emotional anxiety six of swords in the reverse again not moving forward because of a pattern or behavior or mindset things like that um that's why you aren't able to manifest this ace of wands comes out in a reverse position tell me about the caring connection yep king of swords comes out so when you start to remove the emotion from it and you start to make a decision with logic and reasoning um this is what's helping you, you know, because now you're not overly emotional, right? You're coming in with that intellect, with the authority. I feel like um, whoever you're connected to, they may even operate like that. Air sign, possibly, I got the King of Swords there, air sign energy. It's like they may even um, operate in logic, okay, um, more than anything. Tell me about this daughter personal healing and happiness. Changes they've been working on. The moon card comes out. Yeah, you you were caught up in some type of uncertainty, a lot of confusion. Again, so when you're in this energy of being tied up, right? Feeling oppressed by your situation, emotional anxiety, whatever, conflict. It keeps you from being able to intuitively see the truth. So that you can't you can't see what's hidden, right? And so your your uncertainty kick in, um, the fears kick in, things like that, right? And what I'm seeing here is that that uncertainty or whatever you were facing, that's what was keeping you unaware, okay? Um, or keeping you unaware. I don't know where you're at on your timeline, nine of cups of your happiness. Of your wish fulfillment things like that what are what is how is it blossoming what are the results looking like 
Yeah, the magician in the reverse. So basically, um, the illusions, whatever that is, is like that's why you weren't manifesting this desire. Yeah, eight of cups in the reverse, not walking away from again the pattern, the behavior, the mindset, things like that. That's could that's what was keeping you caught up in this repeat cycle of this situation. Okay, so not feeling secure or stable also is what I'm hearing when it comes out to the King of Pentacles reverse. It doesn't feel like this is necessary. You know, uh, uh, a karmic or neg negative energy like a greedy energy. I feel like it's more based off of someone not um, offering you anything, you know, serious or you're not seeing the abundance coming out of this situation, right? With the Seven of Pentacles coming out. It's like, this person understands your value most definitely, they understand the role you play. They understand all of that. But it's like when it came down to you seeing something come out of this, you weren't seeing it. It's, well, it's taking too long. Let me just put it that way. You know how sometimes when things take too long to manifest, then we get caught up in that emotional anxiety and all that other conflict that happens because we are feeling unrewarding. But again, this person can see being with that caring connection. They can see the long-term view. They can see... All of it, which you've invested in everything. They can see, yeah, all of this. Um, Seven of Swords comes out, but guess what? <sighs> Tell me about this. I, what I just heard was a strategy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. I feel like also because it's been a lot of uh, disloyalty or it could be like lies or or um manipulation or something that could have been happening here deception of some sort okay that's also what i'm hearing is like a trigger for you right the five of swords comes out again because this person may have well or you may have had some type of dispute or argument over this situation before it's like I said, it feels like it's a repeat situation that just keeps coming up. Um, that hasn't been really fully handled. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. I'm also hearing self-deceit. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. That might be it, y'all, because ain't nothing coming out, you know, two of, two of Pentacles comes out. Yeah, because when it comes down to making a decision, two of Pentacles reverse, the high priestess is in the reverse. I feel like you both were blocked intuitively, like you just couldn't see it because that's what was keeping you guys, both of you, from being able to make a choice. And at this point, I feel like... You're changing or you're shifting and you're beginning to make a choice. You're becoming more flexible and more aware of the different choices and options that you have. It's like you're no longer fearing the change because you you are ready to see some results in your situation or in your life, period, when it comes to this. And it's like the same thing. It's like you guys were mirroring this energy back and forth to each other and causing each other not to be able to... Um, make the the choice just juggling the choices okay like and and not choosing right is how i'm hearing it okay because i feel like someone within the dynamic kept choosing the emotional anxiety and that's the wrong choice right instead of staying happy and positive and keep moving forward someone chose emotional anxiety over um over logic over intuition okay What's the secrets? What's hidden? What was hidden? The devil and the tennis was comes out. Okay, so y'all stay tuned for part two.